Welcome to the HaveMeter DVD. This user guide section is primarily aimed at health and safety managers. We will run through the functionality of the HaveMeter system, from the setup and operation of the hardware to looking at the React Tech tool tag and how this is affixed to your power tools and how we program that tag. Finally, we'll cover the software, which allows you to view and report on your employees' vibration exposure and tool usage records. Your shipment may have arrived in a hard carry case like this one. Inside the carry case, you'll find from one to eight half meters, which are docked on the base station. The base station power supply is also included within the box, along with the half meter instruction manual and DVD. The tool tag component and the installation pack may have come with this delivery or it might have come separate, but we'll get to that later on. The base station and half meters are powered by mains voltage or can run on a 12 volt battery supply, allowing you to set the system up on a site or for mobile teams you can equip a van. The half meters, even when not in use, use a very small amount of battery, so we recommend that the base station always has power in order to charge up the half meters for when you want to use them. You'll first of all need to choose a suitable location for the base station. This can be on a site or in a vehicle. If you are going to set up the half meter system in a vehicle, it's recommended that a qualified auto electrician installs a secondary battery to ensure that the half meters receive correct charge and that after a weekend of charging, the vehicle is still able to start. Whether in a vehicle or on site, we recommend that the base station is wall mounted using the two plastic recesses in the back. Ensure that there's at least 150 mil clearance above the top of the base station. There's ventilation slots at the top and bottom and ensure these aren't covered. Also, make sure you don't place the base station above a heat source or in direct sunlight. If you're unable to wall mount the base station, then place on a flat stable surface and ensure the area is clear and that you have good clearance above the top of the base station. We can now plug the unit in using the power cable which has a screw mechanism to secure it in place. Now you can switch on at the mains. Ensure the half meters have good contact on the base station for charging and on first use you should give the half meters 12 hours to charge up. If you don't it may adversely affect the battery duration. When you first plug this in, there may be a software notification on the base station. Just allow this update to happen without interrupting the power or removing the half meter units. You should also bear in mind that on powering up the base station or replacing a half meter onto the dock, there's a five minute delay before you'll be able to sign out one of the half meters. So now we have power to the base station, I'll briefly cover the operation of the system before detailing more on individual components. The base station charges and stores information from the half meters. Your employee will take a swipe card or a pin number to sign out one of the half meters, which is his vibration dose meter for the day. He then attaches to any tool he may use via one of the color coded tool tags. When the tool is triggered, the half meter uses an accelerometer to detect that the tool is in use and accurately records trigger time. On the display, your operative will see his points in terms of the HSE's point system at a glance. He can connect to multiple tools and at the end of the shift, he drops the half meter back on the base station where it recharges and downloads the information. A training video is featured on this DVD to demonstrate the day-to-day -day operation of the half meter system to your workforce. You should also note that on signing out a half meter, that all three of the LEDs flash to alert which half meter to select from the base station. It will then read 000 vibration exposure points and there'll be an intermittent green flashing light. The half exposure limits on the half meters will have been set to the HSC's 100 and 400 points, which corresponds to the exposure action and exposure limit value. You can change these values to suit company policy 
or for individual employees who have existing problems with their hands, for example if they have hand-arm vibration syndrome, you can reduce these limits to further protect them.